Should we get going? Let's do it. Bow Down tells the folk story of the two sisters, the fair sister and the dark sister, who fall in love with the same guy. Um, and the guy chooses the fair sister, and the dark sister, out of jealousy, drowns the fair sister. And then the miller discovers the dead body of the fair sister and takes vengeance on the dark sister. Harrison Birtwistle and Tony Harrison devised this piece in the 70s. Bow, down, down, bow, down, bow, down, bow, down. Bow. Down. We are going to take the, the, the score, which exists at the moment, is really just a, a notation of that, and we're going to take it and, and redevise it essentially in our own way. With everything that we do at the Opera Group, we try to attract as diverse an audience as possible. Um, the kind of work we do really challenges what people think opera is, it really engages with other art forms and with organisations outside the arts as well. We've got a, a really young cast. They're all very multidisciplined, multi-talented. I finished drama school in 2010, and since then we've done a few projects. And actually, I found out about the Opera Group on Twitter. I, it was the first Twitter job for me. I've just finished university last July. Um, I did an ancient history degree um, at the University of Birmingham, and now I'm hopefully going off to drama school in September. This is Pete, who's my assistant. Peter, nice to meet you. This is Paul Wingfield, who's, who's our MD. Nice to meet you. And this is the cast. Everybody, this is Sir Harrison Birtwistle. It's quite nerve-wracking having Harry Birtwistle here. He's such a huge figure in British music, but in, in, you know, across the world. He's one of the great composers, living composers of our time. Oh, sister! Oh, sister! Who oh, lend me your hand? And I'll give you both houses and land. I'll be true to my love. And my love will be true to me. I'll even give you my hand off, no, my glove. Bow down, bow down, bow down. <coughs> what you have to be careful of is that when you're doing these repetition things, it doesn't simply become automatic because when there's something automatic, you're, you switch off. Mm -hmm. You think, oh, yeah, I've done that. Yeah. And, and, but at the same time, it has to be rhythmic. Yeah. yeah. It has to somehow reflect the energy and moment of, of what is being said. I mean, maybe I should spend 10 minutes telling you how, how this piece began. That would be lovely. Well, why don't you sit down? And yeah. I'll tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to get comfortable with what the piece is, understand the idea behind the piece mm -hmm. so that we can attack it in the best possible way and give our own spin on it. I mean, one of the nice things about the piece, if you, if you can, I'm sure you will pull it off, is the fact that it, it begins with a drowning. It's like seeing a flashback, if you like, in, in cinema. The drowning, this, is really quite interesting how it works. Why is it so interesting? Well, it's the essence of the piece. Right. And it, it sets something up of where you breathe, and the breathing becomes the metaphor for being under the water, mm -hmm. coming out of the water. It, it's to do with the relationship of the chorus and mm. the drowning. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You're the boss. I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not telling you to do anything. No, no, but I'm, I... I'm, I'm, you know, and you wouldn't do it anyway. <laughs> if you're any good. <laughs> Bert Whistle is um, so enigmatic and very direct and honest and it's amazing to be able to have a composer in the room when you're working. Okay, I think you've lost it. With respect, I think you've lost it. I'm fed up with the tambourine. Part of our magic is that all this sort of loud stuff suddenly goes and you've got just the same thing but something which is really sort of minimal. The level of concentration for me that's required really is, is like nothing I've done before really. <laughs> I'd say it's like having Gandhi here. I think, we've, we're, I think we're a bit lost. Mm. The timing of your entrance 
is absolutely crucial. Break it down again and think what it is, what these ingredients are. It's that sort of precision and concentration is what we got to aim for. It was quite uh, definitely quite, an quite experience. Daunting yeah, to start quite daunting. With. I mean, I, I was unsure if he could just kind of come in and go, no, you can't do this project anymore. Yeah. I mean, he's lovely, but obviously, someone of his standing is, you get a little bit nervous about yeah, yeah, just doing yeah. normal things. Should we put another building block on? Should we put the, the oboe and the flute yeah, on top of that? We've got quite a good tune. I wrote a tune. If I was in Freddie's shoes, I, I, yeah, I'd be pretty speechless. Like I kind of wouldn't really know what to do or what to say. So you didn't write the rhythm for the for the tambourine? No. 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 <laughs> no I wouldn't do that. No. Would I? <laughs> no, he's lovely and he's obviously so so talented and, and got so many amazing ideas. So it was it was a real pleasure. I hope that I've defined just the idea of it, and that's as much as you. It's as much as you need. Yeah, just to demonstrate the sort of areas and things you, you should be thinking about. Yeah, but it's, but it's now, it's up to you, it's up to you to do it. Anyway, thank you for, for everything, uh, you terrific. Thank you. The whole day was, was wonderful with Harry being there. And, um, he really just taught me just to take it right down to the detail and really pull it apart and to, to minimise everything as much as possible. Um, and we'll take that into the rehearsal process, uh, and so that'll be great. We've got a huge amount to do. We'll all go away now and we've got a couple of weeks to, to think about today and to work on the score in, in this detail that we really want to get into it. And then we start rehearsals in a couple of weeks and we've got three weeks of intensive rehearsal. And I think that'll be enough. <laughs>